Hey guys, and welcome back to The Virtuous Life. Um, it's been a while since I filmed with this background, sitting like this, because I'm back in London. Okay, so I wanna get through all this little admin stuff, because first of all, you need to subscribe to my channel because you guys watch, Ooh. Because you're watching these con like my video for free and you know, I wanna put stuff out there, but like subscribe so you don't miss anything. And if you ever have questions, like just comment down below or you can Instagram me, like loads of you in like DM me on Instagram. And I always reply because you know, that's who I am. Um, so you wonder what's today's video about? Well, let me tell you. First of all, I wanna say thank you for 700 subscribers. Yes, thank you so much. Um, Hopefully I'll reach 1,000 soon, whoop whoop. Um, yeah, so what is this video about? Well, if you carry on watching, you find out. Okay, so today's video is all about engineering myths, okay? Things that just aren't true, never will be true, and will never cease to be true. <laughs> I mean, it's no sense. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna clear up a couple myths because the things I was hearing, even the things I believed before joining, like during this course of this degree, I'm like, whoa, like someone should have told me this wasn't true because it could have been massive, it could have been off putting I might not have joined this degree if I carried on believing those myths. Number one, let's just get with the big one. Like I said, these aren't in like order of like, which one's like priority or anything. I'm just saying them in a random order. One, Engineering is all guys. Oh my gosh, I bet it's so male dominated. How do you do this? Okay, 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 okay. Maybe like 10, 15 years ago, engineering was like basically predominantly like male, like testosterone was so flipping high. Um, yes, I'm not saying that it's not like, the. there's still a large amount of males in our degree, but it's not as much as you think. It's not like I'm the only girl in like, in like a sea of a hundred male. Like I'm not drowning in testosterone, um, but like for my course, I do civil engineering. And um, I say like the ratio is quite good. Like there's a large number of girls. When I say large, okay, for like six to four, I always say that ratio, like for every four girls there's six boys. Um, but depending on what engineering you go to, obviously the number, the ratio might like vary, but like it's not all guys. Like girls are here and you know what we're doing? Fantastic, I'll have to do myself. Um, so girls are here, like I don't know why people, like I get the whole thing. Cause like even when I was applying to civil engineering or like engineering um, in A-levels, like, like, why do you want to do that? Like, oh, do I do want to work with guys? And I was even thinking like, raw, why do I want to work with guys? Then I came into the course like, whoa, wow, sis, and there's so many girls in this course. Okay, and there's different types of engineering, that's like aerospace and mechanical, there's acoustical. And so like, depending on which engineering you go, obviously the number of girls to guys will vary. Number two, Oh, all you need to do is work in your calculator and do math stuff. Actually, if you, last year, collectively, we wrote 10,000 words. There is a lot of writing engineering. I don't know where like people got this like fact, like it's just really just maths, physics. Well, it is maths and physics, but you do have to write because obviously last year we had like a, a technical essay, which was 3,000 words. A lab report was 3,000 words. And we had to do this twice. So that's like, like 9,000 words and I haven't even named everything. So like there was loads of writing last year. And even like probably this year, there's gonna be more writing this semester too. So, like this whole, I bet you sleep in your calculator, aren't you doing some nasty number? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> and what? And we actually have to write. Number three. Oh, engineering is so difficult. Um, the thing about, I said that's a myth because um, the word difficult is so subjective because if you asked me to write like a paper on like politics, humanitarian, or, that, or like an English paper, I would find that difficult because I hate writing. But like, so, but then if you ask someone who does politics to write like an essay, they would find it like difficult, so subjective. So like saying engineering is difficult, but like, yeah, every degree is difficult depending on who you ask. Like you could ask me to do like medicine. I would find that difficult because I can't memorize to save, save my life. Like biology was like the hardest like science because the amount of content that was going through my brain and I wasn't absorbing anything. It was going through here, coming out the other one. I was just like, oh, great. So engineering is difficult. I just say that's a myth. A levels is the hardest thing you're ever gonna do. I saw all my uni, all my A level teachers kept saying that. Yeah, okay, don't, don't get me wrong. A levels killed me, like battered me. A levels were actually, I found it really, really hard. But <laughs> like uni isn't any easier. I mean, it's fun. It's way more fun than A levels because obviously, like you're living in your own accommodation, you do your own things, you join society, you have new friends, you live in the music, blah 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 blah. But academic wise, it's still hard. Um, this is, uh, yeah, it's like it's not like. Like, it's, yeah, it's still hard. Okay, so I'm gonna make up. But like, you can do it. I did it somehow, you can do it. But the next myth is, oh, your course is going to be so small. Oh, this is such a niche 
um, fashion, da -da 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 -da. no, not really, because engineering is massive, obviously not as big as medics, but like, um, just civil alone, there's 96 of us, okay, and bear in mind, there's like mechanical, aerospace, acoustical, and like, collectively, I think we're like almost 400, 500, there's so many engineers that specialize in so many different things, so this is not a niche, like, little profession you're coming into, like, calm, there's loads of engineers, and there's loads of people to welcome you, and um yeah so our course is definitely not small okay like we are like the lecture room our biggest lecture room is like 250 which is maths like it holds 250 of us so hmm and already i know how i said another myth was that it's all predominantly male but this is not a myth that girls can't do engineering because you know like people might say well, no we don't think that but you do still think that because when i say oh yeah i do civil engineering oh why would you do that or like what is civil engineering like oh is that a male profession <laughs> girls can do whatever they want okay i'm not just gonna sound like you know or like cringe or whatever but like we can do whatever we want and we can do it it's just as well as guys can do it okay so girls can do engineering and we're excelling at it actually another thing i don't know why people get fixated the fact that engineers are creative that makes no sense the whole point of engineers are solving problems okay we're problem solvers we're fixing things if we had if we didn't have some level of creativity okay then how the hell are we gonna solve these problems, okay? We just can't just randomly, like, we have to be... So this whole, oh, I bet it's so mundane, I bet it's just physics class. Well, especially civil engineering, there's a lot of, there's a lot of designing. Like, you don't realize how closely linked architecture and civil engineering are. There's, like, a direct link. Like, you could just build a bridge over this guy. Yeah, anyways, there's a, a, there's a complete link between architecture and civil engineering because, like, you both have to work closely together. So this is not a myth, but I always hear this. Civil engineers are just glorified, um, what's it called, construction workers. <laughs> that just makes me laugh, because it's just like the furthest from the truth, but whatever. Another myth, which um, this is only after joining uni, I realized that, oh wow, I didn't know this. It's not really a myth, it's something I just didn't know about civil engineering. You know, there's a lot of, gra there's a lot of schemes, scholarships, and like, placements you can apply to before even coming to uni so like for civil engineering there's quest scholarship and especially for southampton civil engineers are success so you want to look at those two type of like scholarships or like um summer placement schemes before even coming to uni because i mean even if you don't look at it before coming to uni it's not the end of the world but like you can give you a head start and you can really prep for interviews and that's something i didn't know there's actually a lot out there like in, in like internships scholarship schemes for engineers more than you think there are so you know Research, guys, because I didn't research. Uh -huh. Here's another myth that um, um, you're screwed if you don't know how to program or like know how to use any CAD softwares or any like Python, this, that. That's a lie. You're not screwed because like they'll teach anyway. So like, even if you haven't used a CAD software for civil engineering, like you're going to learn how to use multiple like Inventor, Fusion 360, Revit, um, etc. And even like with um, programming software like Python, Mini Minitab. MATLAB, MATLAB, all of that. Anyways, they're just, they're, they're gonna teach you, so um, that's definitely a myth because you're not screwed if you don't know how to use any of these programs yet, because that's what the degree is for. That's why you're paying the 9.2K a year. Um, so I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of what course I study. I study civil engineering. I, people keep asking me, I do architecture. I do civil engineering with architecture, so I have an extra architecture module, but predominantly, like my whole degree is, but I'm, I'm gonna become a civil engineer once I get chartered. So yeah, just to clear that up. I'm currently in second year of um, civil engineering and um, semester one's almost done. We have exams in January. Pray for me, because so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope I cleared some of the myths, because listen to me that aren't true. Um, thank you very so much for watching this video. And if you have any like questions about civil engineering or engineering in general, or like um, studying engineering at the University of Southampton, I'm the girl, just message me. I do reply to all the messages and comments. Also, thank you so much for 700 subscribers. I know I said it at the beginning, I wanna say it again, thank you. Keep subscribing and I will film another day in a life because I can really see that like, it's like blowing up. I mean, it's reaching almost 4,000 views. Um, So I will film another day in a life. I just wanna like do it properly and like make sure it's as informative as, po as possible. That's why it's taking so long for me to get it out. And lastly, if you guys wanna see how I take engineering, like my notes or like how a tutorial question look like comment down below because i was gonna film a study with me i think i will put one now but <laughs> i was i wasn't really sure how you record them i mean like do you care what i'm writing or do you just want to see me actually writing i might just watch other people study with me and then see how i can like incorporate my one into that anyways enough with waffling thank you so much for watching this video mm, see you next time bye